With SongSketch, you can create arrangements based on your song ideas. You can do that by connecting an arrangement pattern to a set of clips. SongSketch comes with a number of templates and arrangement patterns in different styles. You can edit and adapt the templates as you like, and you can also create and save your own templates. In this way, you can take your idea to a draft arrangement and hear what it would sound like as a song. To use SongSketch in a set, find the device under Categories, Max for Live, Max Audio Effect in the Live browser. Drag SongSketch to a new channel to open it. Whenever SongSketch is added to the set, it loads any tracks with clips on Scene 1 in the Session view. Select a library and a template to create an arrangement based on the clips on Scene 1. If you change, add or remove any clips on scene 1, you can either reload your clips by selecting a new template or you can select Find New Tracks in the Edit menu. You can use MIDI clips as well as audio clips, and your clips can be of different lengths. Placing the arrangement will be faster with longer audio clips, so if you have short audio clips, it's recommended to make them 8 or 16 bars. If you have your song idea in the arrangement view, you need to move your clips to the session view to be able to use them in SongSketch. A quick way to do this is to select the time range you want to use, right click and select consolidate time to new scene. Each arrangement template includes a number of parts. SongSketch will assign the different parts to your tracks. You will be able to reassign them later. The different song sections are visible below the arrangement. If you need some more space, you can also work with the arrangement in the expanded view. Click on the expand button to open it. If you have more than 16 parts in your song, you will need to use this view to access some of the controls. In this view, you have some different zoom options. When Adaptive is selected, you will see the full arrangement and its size adapts to the window. The narrow, medium and wide options set the width of a bar. There are also some different sorting options for the parts. The default sort setting is bottom top. The tracks option mirror the order of your tracks in the live set. When you select a new template, SongSketch assigns your clips to the different parts in the arrangement. Remember to have the clips you want to include on scene 1 in the session view. Most likely, you will not have the same number of clips in your song idea as there are parts in the selected template. If you have more tracks than there are parts in the template, SongSketch will add empty parts to the arrangement. You can then draw where in the arrangement you want the track to play. There is also the option Adapt Template, which can adapt the template to the number of clips that you have. If you have more clips than parts, SongSketch will add more parts to the arrangement and follow the general arrangement pattern in the specific template. If you have fewer clips than parts, no parts will be removed, but the parts that are assigned to clips will be adapted if possible. Adapt template can only be used before you make any other changes to the arrangement. Once you have loaded a template, you can reassign parts to other tracks. For example, if you want to assign your track Percussion to the part Melody instead of Riff, use the drop-down next to Percussion and select Melody. The track Percussion is now assigned to the Melody part. Auto-assignment of tracks is based on the label that each track was given when SongSketch was added to the set. For example, 
a track with the label bass will be assigned to a bass part, and a track with a chords label will be assigned to a chords part, if there is one, or to any other musical part. You can view and edit the label in the track view. To change the label, use the drop down menu for each track. Whenever you like to place your arrangement on the live arrangement view, first check that the live arrangement view is empty, then select to arrangement to place the arrangement. SongSketch places the arrangement starting at bar 1 in the live arrangement view. When you have placed the arrangement, you can play back your arrangement in live. Once the arrangement is placed, it's also possible to play back the arrangement from SongSketch by using the play buttons in the section bar below the arrangement. The first time that you play back a section, SongSketch will place locators in live to make it possible. When working with templates, it can be useful to see them as graphic representations of different song formats. The graphic represents how energy is distributed throughout the song. You can also look at the sections to get an overview of the song, for example to see which sections are similar and where the main focus of the song is. SongSketch is useful when taking your idea to a draft arrangement. Whether your final production is going to consist of 16 or 64 tracks, a tip is to use SongSketch for your core components to set up a basic song structure and thereafter continue your production in the live arrangement view.